the HR function is changing rapidly. HR is expected to become partners both with the business folks but also with the data scientists. HR managers really need to be aware um, of how machine learning algorithms work and both in terms of their promise but also their limitations. Virtually every company is now using algorithms in some form. Who gets hired, who gets promoted, and ultimately who gets fired. Computer algorithms make decisions and those decisions are made uh, by a black box algorithm and the black box algorithm is an algorithm that we really don't know what the methodology is for selecting individuals or selecting certain outcomes. In this course what we're going to study is how we can actually look inside the black box and how to audit and diagnose what possible problems are in the algorithm. In our Algorithms at Work course, we're going to cover three big parts. The first part will look at statistical models. The second part of the class will be about the machine learning. The third part of the class will look at some of the unintended consequences of those models, some of the issues which might actually be in violation with the law. Cornell is uniquely situated to do this. We have a depth of research and faculty that are unparalleled. At ILR, our focus is on the workplace, and we are looking at how technology affects the workplace. For an HR professional, this means they need to be literate in this area. They don't need to have a degree in computer science or statistics, but they do need to understand the different components and how to evaluate whether an algorithm is really doing what it should do for the company.